All right, I would like to start the, this video with this. Uh, I'm sure you have learned, um, uh, you have learned and have seen chemical re many chemical reactions so far. Here's what actually happened. So how chemical reaction occur? The red part is uh, something adds or removed from hydrogen. The green, something transfer electrons and the rest of magic. That's how chemistry works, totally. So, um, uh, thing like a proton, always positive. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Be like a molecule. Molecule. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, now, energy of collision. So we have to talk about energy real quick. Uh, one question for you. Do all collisions lead to reaction? Yeah, do all collisions lead to reaction? Uh, there's a little bit uh, debate about this, okay? If all, uh, all, all collision uh, lead to reaction, but here's you can think about it. Let's say in gas phase, I have, so let's say same thing, uh, making water, so oxygen and hydrogen gas collide, all right? Uh, and there's a calculation that, so there's a calculation, at one ATM, uh, 298 Kelvin and one milliliter uh, volume, there are, uh, 10 to the 27 binary collision per second. Is that a lot? Uh, binary means so two molecules collide, okay? So if you have this condition, there will be uh, 10 to the 27 times uh, co of collision per second. That's a lot, that's a lot. If you remember, uh, what's the uh, Avogadro's number? 6.62 times 10 to the uh, 21st, this is even a 23rd, or this is even higher than that. So how, how many times they collide? Even higher than Avogadro's number, right? If all collision leads to the reaction, if that's true, all reaction in this world will occur instantly. That's what makes sense. There are too many, too many collision right here, right? So actually, it's not really true. Um, in reality, some reaction go quick, some reaction go slow, some reaction go in the middle, some uh, on, in, uh, along those lines. Okay, so not um, not all collision leads to the reaction, okay? Now, the, que the next question gonna be, if not all collision lead to the product, what collision does that? I'll give you an analogy, okay? Have you played baseball? Or at least to watch baseball, I think, okay? So if you if your favorite team um, hit for a home run, is it hard to make a home run? Very difficult, like not that often. Every time we have home run, people are like, yay, touchdown. No, <laughs> uh, home run um, is very difficult to achieve. So how to make a home run? There are two things that uh, every batter have to achieve. One, hit at a proper angle, <laughs> right? You have to be at the right angle. If you hit from the top of, uh, of the ball, the ball just drop, right? Hit, hit to the really bottom so the ball just go up high, right? You have to hit at the right angle so shoot um, to send balls to the right direction. And hit hard enough that's very important right if you don't hit hard enough the ball just drop Boop. if you don't hit hard enough the ball just drop hit with the proper orientation and uh with the uh it and was it at the right power so the ball will just go send to uh like to to get home run okay so that's the energy of collision that we want to talk about. So if same thing, same reaction, making water from a hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. So if all these molecules come together, collide with low energy, all of them have low energy, that's no reaction, right? But if any of these have higher in energy, and to get to that, well, you guys know the molecules collide, there will be a transfer of kinetic energy. Just similar to you play pool, like two balls uh, hit each other, the, uh, the ball that got hit, move more quickly, so have higher kinetic energy. Same thing there, so two molecules of oxygen gas, one hit the another, the, the one that hit other, so have lower in energy. The one who got hit, move faster. Once all these um, reacting molecules collide, if they have, if the sum of energy is high enough, you get water, you get the product, okay? So some amount of energy is required to be able to uh, uh, lead to the product. Does that make sense? And that energy is called activation energy. Uh, let's take a look at the on the.